Hey, my pretties, it's the Lion Queen, and today, to honor the fact that Frozen turned 10 years old in November of 2023, I was going to make this video originally around that time to celebrate that, but unfortunately, I got busy with other projects, there was lots of other stuff, my life has gotten very busy around the time, and I was also stressed out because my mom couldn't drive due to the fact that she... Couldn't drive for a while because she was still healing from breaking her ankles. So, here we have with this video. Most of you guys know, should know already that Frozen is already um, 10 years old. I know this video is being made a little later, but that's okay. Because today I'm going to tell you a story about the day I saw Frozen and Feed Years in 2013. Now, keep in mind, I was in high school at the time, and that was before I started getting into the creepypastas. Because back when I was in my teen years, I wasn't really that interested in creepypastas until 2015, well, 2017, when I started getting into the creepypastas at the time. But I wasn't interested in creepypastas at the time. I was more into other stuff. If that makes total sense. I was more into other stuff. So. I didn't get into creepypastas till much later. So I thought you know. I'd let you guys know on that. Okay. So I am going to basically talk about. The day I saw Frozen. Frozen came out in November. Of 2013. I was in grade 10. When that, when that movie came out. I was around 15 years old at the time when the movie came out. And honestly, I honestly saw some trailers and people promoting the movie. And I was looking at it and I was like, that looks like a pretty good movie. No joke. So then I decided, you know what? Maybe I should look into um, maybe doing the movie myself. So I ended up deciding to go ahead and, you know... Maybe do a little bit of research on what the movie's about. And I did see trailers for it. So I'm like, mm, maybe I'll give this a go. And then my teacher, I was in the learning center at the time. My learning center teacher was having a field trip for all of us to go to the movies to watch, um, to watch the movie. To go to the movies to watch Frozen there was, I think, one or two movies that were also being shown at the time. I can't remember what the other two movies were because since it's been a long time. But, um, oh, bless me. Apologies about that. I just had a sneeze. Um, but at the time, I was in going to see Frozen with a few friends of mine, like a few high school friends that I knew that were going to go see Frozen. So... I went to see Frozen with them. Um, you know, so for this movie field trip um, for high school, what we had to do is, you know, we got the permission slip signed by our parents, blah, blah, blah. And we had to bring money for the concession stand, which, of course, it's already prepaid. It says you can get, like, a kid's size um, popcorn and drink. And that includes, like, a little mini... Um, surprise or something I don't know if it was like a kinder egg or something it could have been a kinder egg but I don't really remember it's been like so long and then we have a small size of popcorn and drink and then a regular size which was almost a large one no joke so I got the you know regular size because you know I had some spare change and you know because I saved some from you know the last couple times I went to the cafeteria and my parents are like hey you could buy it no problem um, since you save a lot of change. So I did. So when I did, I ended up going to see Frozen. Now, I went to the movie theater. We took a city bus. I was with my class and we took a city bus from there. Not one of those school buses that you that usually go on to go to the, you know, these kind of field trips. But we took a city bus, which was honestly something I never expected my school to do, but they did. And they had done this a few times in other field trips. So I took a city bus with my class and we went down to a movie feeder and when we got there we all were all huddled up and we were told you know where what feeder we go to to see a certain movie. Like I said there was like um, two other movies that were being played but I just can't remember what they were. 
I think one of them was four, I, if I could remember correctly. It was an Avengers movie. I think it was like a Marvel DC movie. I can't even remember. I think it might have been four, but I can't remember. But uh, some people were going to see that. I was seeing Frozen with a couple of other kids that were seeing Frozen as well. And when we went to see Frozen... Um, on the way at, on the way to see the movie, I got my popcorn, which was a regular size. And of course I followed my friends as they got their popcorn and they were going to find their seats. Now, some of us sat in the, like in the far back where, um, where we'll be able to see the movie much better and that, you know, we have the whole scene feedier to ourselves or something well there was a few other classes that were and other schools I think there was like two different schools and different learning centers that also went to the movies as well I, I'm pretty sure there was two other schools that went there as well I could be wrong I I like I said I don't really remember much but I'm only going this by memory from what I remember personally so I think I was sitting at the far back with, you know, a couple of my other friends. Some of my other fr friends were like sitting a little bit closer. Um, yeah, I mean, there was like certain rows of seats. So people sat in different rows. I had to sit beside an annoying student that used to cry like a baby all the time, even over the littlest things. So the the bad thing I did not like about, you know, the feedier trip was I had to sit beside... A annoying student that used to cry over the littlest things whenever she didn't get her way. She was kind of like Caillou and DW Reed 2.0. No, and honestly, when I sat beside her, sit beside her, I was like, oh, "Are you kidding me? Do I have to sit beside her? Why can't I just sit with someone else?" You know, she wasn't really my friend. She was just an annoying student, and I'm not gonna say her name because you know, for obvious reasons, because. I don't want her name getting out. And here's the thing. This this student that I had to sit with was annoying. She's six years older than me. Like, no joke. She was six years older than me. She I don't even know if this person's changed or not since I hadn't seen her since 2015. Because that was the year she graduated. So I don't even know if this student had graduate, that graduated has changed or not. But quite frankly, I don't even want to know if she hasn't changed or anything, which I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, she was an annoying student because she used to cry every time she didn't get her way. I mean, like, pe seriously, people, there's certain people out in the world that really need to grow a spine. I mean, I'm just, I'm not trying to be an asshole by saying that, but it's the honest truth. You can understand what I mean by that. But... There was another student I had to sit beside on my right side. She wasn't annoying or anything, but she was kind of rude. And I don't remember this student's name, but she was kind of rude to me, you know, in the past or something. And I had to stuck, I was sat between an annoying student and one student that, and another student that was kind of annoying, you know, to say the least. I mean, she wasn't as annoying as the crying in student, but she was just rude in general. I, I I don't know. She was kind of like a bit of a control freak, to be honest, because whenever I did something that she didn't like, she was like, oh, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? I'm like, like literally, literally, seriously, people, some people just really need to understand, you know, that, you know, there's certain ways people have and that, and, you know, I'm just being brutally honest. These are students that I've had, you know, to deal with in the past. Um, that was back when I was 15 years old. But here's the thing. When I was 15 years old, I wasn't really the best student back then either. I wasn't really the best person. I was, my mental health wasn't really doing the greatest back then when I was in high school. High school was like hell, which I'm considering and maybe doing like a video separately when I talk about, you know, my high school life, which I might consider that, but I really don't know because, you know, I've been kind of insecure about that. And I have been for the last um, few years ever since I got out of high school. But it still has me a lot to think about if I should make a video, you know, talking about it. You know, like basically talk about, you know, some pros and cons, what the ups and downs, etc. But yeah, and the reason why I'm not saying certain students', students names because I don't want them um, to reveal their first names for privacy reasons 
in case if, you know, I'm not saying they're going to see my channel or they're going to see this video, but I'm just saying, you know, they might say, oh, is that the girl that, that I ended up having to deal with back when she was in high school with me? Oh God, why is she saying my name like that? Like, I mean, I'm not saying that they're going to say that, but this is just to respect their privacy. And, you know, because I'm respectful to privacy when it comes to private information from people. So, okay. All right, now I'm going to continue with the story. So, I was eating my popcorn, watching Frozen, and it seemed pretty nice. I mean, I was eating the popcorn and was trying to make it last. And honestly, the Frozen movie was actually quite amazing. I mean, I like the songs, the animation. It was just fantastic by Disney. And I was like holy hell, this is just a really great movie. Like, I mean, I know Frozen's not everybody's favorite movie. I mean, I know some people don't like Frozen, but to me personally, I personally really liked the movie. I thought it was a really great film. And I mean, yeah, I mean, the student that I had to sit beside that was always crying all the time, she didn't even make a peep. She did not even make a peep. What I mean by that is she didn't even cry or have a tantrum, or bitch about, about not getting her way. So I'm like, oh, she touches my popcorn. Oh my god, she's gonna be dealing with me, saying stop touching my stuff. Because, you know, I get a little bit of anxiety when it comes to me lending my stuff to people, because I'm just afraid they're gonna break it. I'm not saying they would or anything, and, it, and I'm not saying they would do it on purpose, but I just get anxiety at times. But, you know, my anxiety was really bad. Not really the bad, the worst, but it was bad at the time because I was a completely different person. <sighs> okay. And another thing I really have to say is that, you know, when I got out of the feeder, I ate my popcorn drink and I finished it. I was like, how did I finish that drink? I mean, I was so busy watching the movie, eating popcorn. I was like, holy hell, I could do this all over again. This is actually quite fun. So... In all honesty, after the movie, we had pizza, which, of course, I had pepperoni. Ew, pizza. I mean, pizza was, like, always my lifesaver. It always took me out of it. And, of course, the student I had to sit beside, the crying one, was sitting across from me, and she was about to cry over not getting a third slice when everyone has to get two slices each. That was how it went. But, of course, she started whining about it a little bit, and then, um... Of course, the teacher told her that she has to stop crying, otherwise she's not going to get an award, and she she finally listened. I mean, I guess that just taught her, you know, what to, you know, how to expect stuff. And, you know, that's just, that's just her way, the teacher's way of getting her to shut up. But, you know, the feedier movie trip was pretty good. And then after the movie feeder, we went to Walmart and, you know, some people bought some stuff. I bought an ice cream sundae because, you know, I was honestly, you know, from McDonald's in there. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to treat myself to a, to a sundae since I haven't had a sundae in a while. So I had a McDonald's ice cream, which, of course, I always love McDonald's ice cream. I mean, there is something about it I really enjoy about their ice cream. I mean, I don't really clearly know what it is, but there's something in the ice cream that is flat out amazing. I mean, if you've never had McDonald's ice cream, you gotta have it. It's really, really, really good. So after that, um, we took the city bus and went back to the school and I went to my own bus at the end of the day to be picked up and, and I went home and after that, I told my mom about it and she was amazed of how well behaved I was at the movie theater in that. And then, and then on the weekend, I told everybody, you know, that I hanged out with saying, you know, I went to the movies, this was great, it was awesome, etc. But yeah, I mean, I couldn't stop talking about Frozen after seeing that movie. I mean, I couldn't stop talking about it. It was just that good. It was a very good movie. It was really well made in detail. And I personally liked the songs, the animation. Everything about it was just flat out amazing. I personally really like the Frozen movie. I mean, if you've never seen Frozen, you really have to see it. It's a really good film. And also for Frozen 2, I have not yet seen it. I haven't had time to, you know, watch it because I've been busy. But I am going to try to find the time to watch the second movie. Because I heard a lot of people like the second movie better than the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. Okay. 
Now, I know this movie video has been gone about about long enough as it is. Um, I, feel, I think that I, I have covered most of everything about this story. But, yeah, if I'm missing something, maybe I'll um, comment about it and pin it in the comments below. If there is something that I did not mention in the video. But I'm pretty sure I mentioned everything about the video. And that pretty much is wraps up the... My field trip to the movies to see Frozen, or in this case, me seeing Frozen in the Feeders story. Now, this is all took place back in 2013. I just want to clarify what year this took place in. And this was back before I became the Lion Queen. I wasn't the Lion Queen back then. I was something else at the time. And, you know, I wasn't into creepypastas back then either. So, big differences on that. Okay. And anyways, with that being said, what did you guys personally think of my story on, you know, me seeing Frozen in Feeders? Did you like it? Did you not? And also, what would you have done personally to help make the Frozen movie better? If you like Frozen or not, let me know what it is in the comments below. And as always, I'm the Lion Queen. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoy my video, be sure to leave a like. Comment, subscribe if you're new, ring the bell for notifications to when it uploads, that way you guys will not miss an upload. If you're interested in following my um, Twitter account, link to my Twitter is in the About page section. And also, if you're interested in checking out my DeviantArt page, link to my DeviantArt page will be in the About page section, so you guys can go check that out if you like. Also, if you're interested in subscribing to my backup channel known as Miss Dark Shigo, link to that will also be in the About page section, so you guys can go and check that out. And as always, if I'm missing anything, let me know. But, you know, you could subscribe to my backup channel known as Miss Dark Shigo if you haven't. Link to that will also be in the About Page section. And as always, roll the outro because I'm out.